What's up guys, in today's video we are back out on Lake Mojave for day three of practice of the One Bass US Open. First couple days have been a grind, caught some small fish, but today in this day three of practice out on Lake Mojave we start finding a couple things that are really gonna dial us in and kind of get us going towards what we end up doing in the tournament. So stay tuned, it's gonna be a good one. board that might have been a keeper been scraping the line i just can't seem to get any size out here one bummer thing is is i lost my hat on the run out here usually i put it around the throttle but i don't know what happened but that thing flew out so i'm gonna have to go back to my truck at some point get a hat so i don't get all sunburned because uh, i'm not smart enough to leave one in the boat with me but uh it is what it is All right, guys, well, we had to run in and uh, get a hat because mine blew out of the water earlier. And uh, the walk up to the boat, the trucks is like far. And I think I cracked a rib earlier today. I don't know for sure, but my rib, like right in here, it hurts. And uh, I was messing with that camera and there was a bunch of waves and stuff like that. And all of a sudden everything just hit just right and it just popped it. And it hurts when I cast hurts when I hit awake, it hurts when I take a deep breath. Uh, there's nothing I can do about that, but um, just gonna have to endure that. Hopefully it's not and it just kind of goes away, but right now it doesn't feel too good. Pleasant surprise catching those on the jerk bait. Um, I'm fishing some shallow grass, and uh, those largemouth are just sitting in that grass, and that jerk bait just gets right above the grass. And I definitely think that that could be a player. Um, I thought about doing that prior to coming out here, and I just finally actually picked up the shallower jerk bait. I've thrown the deeper one a lot, and haven't um, had a lot of success with it. But I picked up that smaller one and been throwing it right over this grass and uh, it's done well for me. So what I might do is leave this area and then go find another one and see if I can do it again. And then what we might do is go out a little bit deeper over some of that deeper grass and throw the, the deeper jerk bait to see if maybe some of the bigger fish are in that deeper grass. the deep jerk bait too I moved out to about 10 foot of water and there's grass down there too a lot of bait in this area this is a... Woo! well we caught one on the jerk bait and my hat just flew off um, caught one in about 10 foot of water the uh, jerk bait was kind of getting right over the top of that grass and I think that's a key I think these largemouth are just sitting in that grass um, I'd like to catch a good one doing it so that way I know that 
it's not just a you know one pound one and a half two pound deal but um it's the best thing i got going right now especially you know considering how windy it is and i think that even if there's no wind i could probably do it in the morning and still get those bites and uh, we caught three pretty quick in this one area so i'm going to go into another similar type of an area and see if we can't replicate that somewhere else this video is sponsored by waterland fishing optics guys these are my hybro frames these are the frames that i wear to work i wear them off the water and occasionally i'll even wear them on the water this is the silver mirror frames, which is what I like to wear day in, day out off of the water. Waterland's got a ton of different frame options for you guys, ton of different lens colors, men's frames, women's frames, polycarbonate lenses, glass lenses, so they got you covered when it comes to sunglasses. So head over to waterlandco.com, use discount code LUNA15 so they know that I sent you and so you can get 15% off. Again, that's waterlandco.com, use discount code LUNA15. something out a little bit here. All right, so that one is interesting because that's what I've been wanting to do pretty much the whole trip is catch fish like that. Um, I don't think I'm on enough of those fish in order to be really able to do that all day long. Um, so I think I'm gonna have to do the combination approach, go after some of those small, so some large amount the grass and then come out here and do some of this stuff and just try to hop around and find some of these spots where these smallmouth are and try to get them to bite on the drop shot um, I'd like to maybe have a limit of some of those largemouth before I come and do that and then call them out as as we can we'll see how the days go in the tournament but I feel like I'm starting to kind of put a little bit of a game plan together well guys midday update is uh, it's still grind out here um, I've caught some fish today, thankfully, but they were small. That smallmouth was a good one. Um, I'm happy with that guy. That's Those are the kind of fish that you're going to need in order to do well. A little three-pounder, uh, high twos at minimum, probably a three, though. Uh, those are the fish that we need. we got to figure out how to catch five of those a day, whether it's largemouth or smallmouth or a combination of both. Um, been keeping that drip bait honest and uh, haven't got any more bites since that one little area. Um, I think that's going to be a factor in catching fish. I don't know that's going to be a factor in winning anything, but uh, I definitely think there's that's a viable way to catch fish with what I've seen so far. And I think it could play, you know, through the event as things get tougher. You know, trying to work that jerk bait a little bit more subtly could could definitely be a, a thing to keep in mind.
Well guys, that's the end of our third day of practice. Got some things accomplished. We found that jerk bait bite, which I think is good. Uh, another large mouth on a chatter bait in the grass. Uh, one drop shot fish too. I saw those on the forward facing sonar, I've cast it over there and got that one to bite. So that's a good bite as well. Um, tomorrow, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna come out and do. I'm debating on whether I run far just to see what's going on up there or do I try to expand on what I've found here? Um, and I'm not really sure. I might spend half a day up there and come back. I, I, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do yet. But uh, we got some waypoints. We got some ideas for tournament day. So uh, we're gonna keep grinding it out and coming back out here tomorrow to try to figure out these bass. Uh, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video. See ya.